Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. I am a sweaty mess because, whoa, um, I just came in for my, uh, we have to vote on these. See, here's the thing. These are Oakley, I think. We got these at the fitness magazine thing. I think these are Oakley. There's no brand on it. Shame on you. Oh, Foster Grant. I have no idea where I got these. Who gave these to me? Um, because they're, anyway. Um, I, when I was in Miami, I broke my, what I call my running glasses. Amy Burford makes fun of me for that. But I do feel that it looks stupid when you're running and you have, you're in all like workout gear. And then you have like, you know, your fashion sunglasses on. Not to mention they kind of bounce all over the place. I make my hat do that. Anyway, it's such a good mood. Maybe it's because I had pizza last night. No, that's not it, but it was. I said to Michael as I was enjoying, yes, my third piece of Giordano's pizza, I was like, and I probably said it like this, this is worth waiting six weeks for. Because, um, not to say it hasn't, I haven't had a cheat day. Obviously, I guess I had one on my birthday. I actually had kind of two. Um, but um, I decided that I'm going to go hardcore because um, I've got some new goals, obviously. It's Q2. And I was a little upset that at the beginning of this quarter, you know, <laughs> my birthday hits right after my birthday. So I had, you know, kind of two cheat days. Michael took me out uh, Saturday night, and then Sunday I was with my family because we celebrate all of our April birthdays together. So kind of had like a little bleed over, even though I was getting this love from Michael. Like when I said, "Well, of course I'm gonna have birthday cake on Sunday," he's like, "But I did." So there was that, and then Aunt Flo arrives on my birthday, and then right after that it was um, like that. She went away. And then it was my mom's surgery this past Monday. And then I get strep throat. So I have really just, um, I just love this song. I have just felt, felt like the first two weeks of this quarter were not like the strong start that I wanted. But that's okay. Because you know what? I view this as the devil trying to go, oh, really? <laughs> you think you did well the first quarter? Huh, I'll show you. I'm going to get you down and you're going to stay down. No. Clearly, it's time to... Amp it up, and then amp it up a little more, and then amp it up a little more. Don't you just love how everything has to be a visual or a metaphor or an analogy with me? That's right. And there's a lot of pink going on in this house. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stay on point, and whoa, this vlog will be under 10 minutes. All vlogs will be under 10 minutes from now on. I'm so excited. Um, so anyway, I have new goals, and one of them that I'm doing that I think you guys should do is, you know, when I was rereading, I'm gonna be talking a lot about, see, I'm just making the most of my time here. I'm gonna burn calories while we're talking. I'm at 690 calories from my workout so far. I should be at 750 by the time I quit blathering. Um, so anyway, um, we had a Giordano's pizza and some wine last night, and it was totally worth it. Um, but then I said to Michael, I'm like, I wanna go from now until at least Memorial Day no cheat days, hardcore, and my main goal is to hit, so my next, uh, uh, what's the word, milestone. You hit like certain milestones, right, instead of thinking about your end term goal. Um, so I'm at 140 now, um, I wanna hit 135, and I really, there's no reason, there, first of all, if I really would, if I tell you like my dream dream goal, I would love to be able to hit uh, if it's seven weeks, I'd love to hit a two pound weight loss every week, but <laughs> let's look at the first three months of this year and the fact that I got the scale to go from, I think it was like 10 pounds, really, when you look at what the scale said. Um, and, and there was a lot of, you know, up and down that would go, it would go like this, down, and then up a little bit, and then it would go down, and then it would go up a little bit, and then it would go down. <laughs> kind of, you know, like I'm pulling it off. But that's okay, because it's staying off, because I've never been more pleased with the way my physique looks, and we're just starting, can you imagine? So, um, anyway, let's just say that I'm going to, the, the next milestone I'm aiming for short term is 135. So what I did is I took from that book, not that this isn't an idea that anybody could do, 
But um, that book I told you I love, um, Jack Canfield, The Success Principles, you know, he's talking about visualization and how he was visualizing, I think, like the first check or something he was going to get from this book. And so he taped, um, sorry that I'm holding this on the counter, I'm talking to you because I'm going to show you something. Um, uh, he taped a picture of this check so that when he woke up every morning, he looked right up and he saw it. And then, you know, he taped pictures of it all around the house. Now you might think that's hokey, but there's something to be said about keeping your goal and what you want always on your mind because then it's going to affect your decisions the rest of the day. So I took this little simple piece of paper. You see it? I just wrote 135 on a bunch of papers. Hold on. 135 on a bunch of papers and I have it all over my house. So I have it uh, on my bathroom mirror. I have it everywhere. I have it in my office. So while I'm sitting in my office, it's gonna be on my mind. Um, those are just little things. Like, you might be working really hard for me. I'm in my office. I'm gonna glance up and look at that. I'm gonna be, it's gonna be a reminder of what my goals are. Um, not to have that little extra PV2 when I want it. Um, to make sure I get all my meals in, to make sure I'm drinking my water. Just little reminders of, you know, what's really important. Do you know how much that's gonna mean to me to get past that? You know, we've been hovering at like 140 forever. And, you know, even though I can sometimes see changes in my body, I still haven't moved past that. Move, I'm at six minutes. I'm staying under 10 minutes. Um, anyway, so that's my commitment is from now until Memorial Day. No cheats, kicking ass, uh, writing out my workout goals every uh, Sunday, which we're doing tonight. Um, I'm gonna do shoulders at the gym tonight. This morning I did, um, so here's what's gonna continue. Every morning, empty stomach cardio, which I really enjoy. This morning I did um, one of my favorites, Les Mills Combat, and then I iced that cupcake, and I went for a run. So, I'm our, like I said, you saw before, I was at 690, I'm at 705, so say about 700 calories. So, feeling really good. And also, remember, if you didn't see the first uh, video I did with this on, this is the Under Armour, I don't know if you're supposed to call it a windbreaker or whatever. I'll ask my friend Jamie. Um, but I have to tell you, it's supposed to be 70 degrees today. It's not 70 degrees right now, it's quite brisk when I went outside, but this makes you, First of all, it keeps you warm, but it makes you sweat. Like, I don't even know if you'll be able to see this. It's so sticky, it's sticking to me. Hold on. I'm not lying. But here's the other thing. See that on my hand? Like, I had, when I was, when I was doing my walk towards the end of the run, I was walking towards my house, and I was like, why is my hand all wet? And then I realized there was literally, like, you see this? There's like sweat dripping out of this. So this is awesomeness. Um, anyway, how much time? I have a minute and a half. So anyway, I went for my, I'm really gonna put that in the sink. Um, Ricky. Um, so I did my Les Mills workout and then I felt like, probably because I was a little bit, well, I'm just excited to be running again. So here's the goal. Empty cardio every morning. Um, and then my workout, I will lift at least four days a week. Um, I'm allowed to do my hot yoga whenever I want. So I'll mix in hot yoga. I ideally like to do hot yoga two, at least two times a week, if not three. And that's just because I enjoy it. Um, we're gonna mix up, make sure that with all of the cardio that I do, that if at least I have three runs a weekend, three sessions on the Stairmaster at the gym, and then four lifting sessions. Um, how I mix all of that up is up to me. Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, Whew, need to go tanning. Um, I have to close this up because we're almost at, at 10 minutes, and I said we're doing 10 minutes, and I'm really loving this little thing I bought that came with the um, uh, weighted gloves. Um, but anyway, I encourage you to write one of your next milestone goals and slap it everywhere you see it. Slap it in your office so you're reminded of it. Um, it might encourage you to do crazy little things like, hey, if you're at the office, why not stand in front of the copy machine and do little jumps like that? Why can't you? Trust me, it's kind of cool. I used to do that in the office when I was first losing weight first time like years and years and years ago and people go what are you doing and there's always some douchebag that'll say you know what the hell is she doing bitch in there blah 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 and then you'll be like have you noticed 
my butt lately? Thank you. Talk to the hand. Yes, I just brought back a saying from like 10 years ago, but I just made it fresh. Go ahead, use it yourself. You can, you can do that. I have to go. Um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I did it, 10 minutes and 15 seconds. Boom. Yeah.